make that noise. You, well, when you actually are in the act of pedaling, you hear like every time you pedal, you hear legato pedaling. You know, you hear the whole thing. How could I describe it? What what would be a good description of that noise? This? Compared compared to my Steinway pedal here, which you don't hear at all. Yeah. Okay, so here's Steinway. See, it's yeah. the normal whatever, but you don't hear the the crotchety kind of sound. You mean this? Yes. That? Yes. Okay. Well. Now, is that supposed to shake back and forth, that whole mechanism? The lyre is, it's as solid as it's going to be. I mean, it's, it's, uh -huh. it's... In other words, when I depress that pedal, am I supposed to see the pedal box go forward? Because uh, I'm looking at the Steinway, and I don't see any pedal box going forward well, with the impulse of the pedal. Well, it's... Uh, if you look at the Steinway um, lyre, you'll see that you have these two braces that, that brace it yeah. behind it. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh they're, yes. They're wooden yes. braces. Okay? Yeah. They're wooden braces, and they're a pretty steep angle. Right. To 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 you know these. Uh, I think this one was not designed. This one was designed without braces, and somebody added these braces here. Oh, they did. Yeah. Uh, and but the but they're. You see how, how um, shallow the angle of the braces. These two metal braces. This this is aftermarket. This is the this didn't come from the pi with the piano. You talking about the see? rods? Yeah, like, these oh, two things. Those these are, these things. See? Oh my god. They're supposed to be braces, but they're not doing much bracing because they're too close to the lyre. I see. If 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 um, if they were moved out farther, that that it might give more support. So and, and they're pretty loose. Uh, they're pretty loose. But that's not where the noise is coming no. from. That's where that's where the shaking back and forth is coming from. I and I wouldn't worry about it because because you know it's not it's not it's not causing anything. The, the noise is coming from 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 here. So that really can't be done unless you erected a whole column of wood or something to back it up. No, you can. You, you, what you can do is you, you, what we can do is we can. We can, you know, instead of connecting here, we can connect it back here. Oh, you know, and give an it a angle. Better, better angle. That's interesting. Um, you know, but that's that's neither here nor there because that's not where the noise is coming from. Okay, and 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 this is this this shaking back and forth. Yeah, is that's driving me crazy. In the in the recordings I make, I actually hear that. No, but you don't hear. But but that's not what's making the noise. You see, this is not. Oh, you you, you mean this? Yeah, like eh, 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 that kind of. Deal. Yeah, it's almost like when you're playing, you hear the whole thing kind of crotcheting around. If okay, well, let's see. You have the one screw here and, and the plate. Because there's no squeaking. I wouldn't even call it a squeak. This is, more, this is more prominent than this. I noticed the soft pedal, it doesn't do it as much. Is that what you mean? Yeah. That's, that's what, what I, mean. I noticed. Yeah. So the noise is not coming from here. The noise is coming from here. So it's not your traditional squeak. It's not and a Also, squeak. it sounds to me like the leg plates are loose. See, the, the, not the leg plates, the pedal plates are loose. Now show me where those are. Well, you can't see them. Oh, you can't. They're inside. Yeah, see here. Yeah, the, right here. Huh? Let's see, can you see it from the back? This box up here that you talked about? Yeah, this, oh, this that here. Box. The, these, no, these two, the, this metal stuff here. Oh, the metal stuff. Okay, so there's a plate here, and there's a plate here, and they sort of, they're supposed to lock together, but they're not locking together very well. Uh -huh. Looks like somebody put a screw here to make it all tighter. What would I even So know let's see if I, let's see if I, this is again, this is, I don't know if this is. Poor construction. Or yeah, it's not. It's not the. So the design. original piano didn't even have those extra little gold no, things. These things were in there. No, this is, now this I'm going to look over at the Steinway and see how much better that design is. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Those are those angled pieces right. of wood. Right. They're, that they're, create a them, stability. Right. We'll call them monkey tails. Monkey tails. <laughs> now who would have even known? Yeah. Who would have known that the, all this was involved? Okay, let me see. So when Jerry did whatever he did, what, what on earth was he doing? 
what he what he did was I mean it was probably a different squeak. It was a squeak, it was yes. A squeak, and it was because the, there's there's a spring under there, and there's a piece of leather that the spring slides on. That piece of leather leather was worn out. I see. So he replaced it. And we got rid of the squeak. Get rid of that squeak, but not the music completely. But different you know versions. what I noticed as I kept using this piano, this other issue started cropping yeah, up, as yeah. if something loosened up. Yeah. That's just from well, a layman's well, person. Well, that's, that's the next thing I'm going to check out. I'll see, if, I'll see if it's just a loose screw. <laughs> I know, because, you know, when they moved it recently, yeah. which was, what, a week or so ago? Uh -huh. they, you know, they, the movers just start putting it back, kind of. Okay, let's see what they did. Because there's this... There's this here. It's supposed to keep it all tight. Oh, that's got a waist to tighten. All right. So oh, you might have solved that it. That takes care of that. Whoa. So that, so. Noise, so that noise is gone. Now we need to figure out what this noise is. <laughs> is it coming from the back here? I'm looking here. That could be deceptive. All right. So this, so this is, this, this, okay, this was simple enough. Just tighten that screw. Good enough. You don't have to worry about these because they're basically not accomplishing anything. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. But I'll tighten those screws anyway. Uh, just, you know, a loose yeah. screw is just a potential source of trouble. Sure. So I'll tighten them anyway. Uh, okay, let's see. It's pretty loose too. I wonder because the movers just just sort of slapped it on. Uh, it's possible. Yeah. Oh, well, no, this this one here is stripped. You see, this is this is just twisting around, and and you know, to, I think I, th I think this is what Jerry replaces this piece of leather over yeah, here. Yeah, well, I filmed Some, that. Something like that. Uh, uh, Except, uh, oh yeah, see, yeah, yeah, this is yeah. A, this is a fresh piece of leather. You see, uh -huh. see how this string, oh boy, just came off. <laughs> oh well, I see. Just so you, you put a fresh piece of leather over here to get that squeak, the uh, previous squeak out. So that. I see what's I see what's causing the squeak. I see. What happened here? I think I got it. This piece of leather came off. So let's see the leather. Yeah, see. Okay, let's get. So now, now the pitman came out. Oh boy. <sighs> this is all. This is the, the piano technician's nightmare <laughs> dealing with pets. Spend a lot of time. Spend a lot. Well, whatever he used didn't stick. Whatever he used for the, to glue the leather didn't stick. Yeah, I know. I filmed him with some kind of super glue, I thought he said he had. There's no noise. There's no noise inside the piano, right. so that's good. I think what happened here is that this piece of leather worked itself loose and started and started friction, created friction. Yeah, and 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 that was that's what was making the squeak. Yeah, there it is. I hear it. Yeah, it's the piece. This piece of leather sliding oh. along the level. So we traded one problem in for another. <laughs> well. It's not, such a, it's not such a big deal. 
and the spring dug itself into this leather. That's what happened. Yeah. Oh. See the spring, the, the spring. See, see where the spring dug itself into this piece yeah. of leather right here, and that's and that's and that's and tore the leather, you know, and tore the leather off the, off the. Oh. Off that. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't, uh, it's not trouble at all. I think this piece of leather is just too thick. It's my, it's my impression. So I needed to be thinner. Yeah, yeah like, think. like literally cut in yeah. half. Yeah. And, the, and the thickness of it. Yeah. yeah. Also, I think this, this spring is, but that's original. This spring is original. Hmm. So. I think everything on this piano is original. <laughs> I don't think anything was changed, except for those rods, like you mentioned. Soft leather, also. Stress, it's a high stress joint. Huh. So, this is what he added in there to, yeah. to cushion the squeak. Yeah. And that's because a pretty uh, common repair, right? To do that? Yeah, yeah, because it's a high stress, it's a high stress area where you have a very strong spring sliding against a, a, um, a, um, a, um, uh, surface. Mm. Now, on the on the Steinway, there's nothing there. There's just just bare wood. You're right. And the spring and the spring slides on the wood. And if it ever starts squeaking, you just put lubricant on it. Right. So what do you use? The the famous uh, what is that oil they put in there? No, I use I use VJ lube, which is oh VJ. VJ lube, which is which is a fancy way of saying Vaseline. Oh, because what's that other one they tell you never to put in there? Oh, VW4. Yeah. Never. Now tell me why. You don't put that in because it reacts with it reacts with cloth. A lot of there's a lot of cloth, it, cloth and leather. It will react with it and harden it. Oh, so it'll yeah. harden it. So yeah. you, so oh, that's quite a bit of advice. Because you know you see on the piano forums everyone talking about that putting that in. Tell me what you got there in your hand. That's a, that's that's buckskin. Buckskin. Yeah, that's it's leather. And where where do you get this stuff? From the supply houses. I see. It's not like, you know, you're in somebody's house and they got an old piano and you say, let me take the buckskin. No, this, this is a brand new buckskin. Oh, I see. So I'm going to test it out and see if it works right. here. And because the shoe leather, I think it's too thick for down here. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to stick it in here like this. Is and this also used as an anti-squeak? Um, thing for a person who would have a squeak in their pedal. What? The buckskin? That's not buckskin. No, buckskin is, is is used typically used for. Uh, see, it's it's not. It's used in. Oh yeah, this would be great. Now it sounds normal. Yeah, that sounds what great. you want to yeah, hear, that's right? What I want, yeah. So I'll, so I'll just glue a piece of this in there. So the and squeak ba basically is, as you say, sometimes elusive. You don't always know. And that would respond to VJ, whatever you said, or you try uh, to you no, try it. Uh, uh, you know, it depends on where. And uh, where? Uh, you know, the different places use different lubricants. Oh, I see. We use. Does it matter whether it's the sustain or the sotto voce or the middle, or is it all m pretty much matching up? You know, it's it's pot luck. You know, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know who knows? You know, Squeeze can happen anytime, anywhere, yeah, yeah. and for various reasons. And, and we use, we use, uh, or I use. Sometimes I'll use VJ lube. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll use Teflon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know. Now this, uh, these, um, this. Um, Buckskin is usually used to cover back checks. Uh huh. Action. That's that's its normal use. I see. But uh, you know, sometimes you have to improvise. Be creative. <laughs> yeah. Ad lib. 
Yeah. I like that. I mean, they had some sort of leather in there before, mm -hmm. but it just wore out. I see. So, what I'm going to do... You get your exercise, don't you? No, I get, <laughs> I'll get my aching bones aching worse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take out one screw and just move it to the side. And that way, we can glue in the leather and without taking apart the entire pedal mechanism. Yeah, because I remember he had taken everything out of there and the silly piece of leather. It's a lot easier to just move the spring over. Uh, there. Just move the spring over. And now we can glue in the leather. And, um, and I came in there to tune this piano and sit right in the sun. Oh, okay. oh. So I tried to find some sort of manager or whatever it is. I said, uh, and, and I told him, you know, <laughs> you put the piano over here, it ain't going to last too long. He said, well, I'm sorry, but that's where the interior decorator said to put it, so that's where it's going to stay. Ah, <laughs> yep, that's the bottom line. So that's, you know, Israel, why did you spray on that so I know it that's is? Just, that's just the uh, accelerator for the glue. The glue, uh, it makes the glue set instantly. I see. So, so that you don't have to wait. I have, a, I have a client here in El Cerrito. Her name is... Um, Brandler? Is that Brandler? No, Karasaki. Uh, there we go. Oh, that's how, see, now that sounds like it should sound. Mm -hmm. That's what you She's get. She's not a Karasaki. Now, there's always a chance that this is where we're at, so I'll put something more uh, stiffer in there, something harder in there. But this, this, this. And we're gotten, now, and that applies to the soft pedal, too. I don't use the metal pedal. Yeah, see, that soft pedal it was spared, I think. Now, the soft pedal, the soft pedal, it's, you don't use it as much. That's right. Okay, so it doesn't wear out as quickly. Yeah, that makes sense.